Hello artists and artisans. Welcome to Artisania Paratodos, the place where creativity meets technology. I'm Kayla, your guide into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence applied to art and crafts. Whether you're an experienced artist or a hobbyist looking for new ways to express yourself, here you'll find inspiration and knowledge to take your creations to the next level. In each episode, we'll explore incredible AI tools that can open up a universe of possibilities for your projects. From generating ideas to creating masterpieces, you will discover how technology can be your ally in the creative process. So get ready to unleash your creativity and immerse yourself in the amazing world of AI in art. Today we are going to dive into the exciting world of social networks and artificial intelligence. Did you know that in the art of social media, visibility is key? If they don't know you, it's like you don't exist. Therefore, today I will show you how to create a weekly calendar for your Instagram posts using ChatGPT. But we're not going to do it alone. With the help of ChatGPT, we are going to form a dream team, a social media strategy expert, a graphic designer, and an SEO specialist. Each one will contribute their magic to make our content shine on Instagram. So, if you're ready to take your Instagram presence to the next level, keep watching. At the end of the video, I am going to leave you a couple of tips so that you are able to get the most out of ChatGPT. And remember, if you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any episodes. Let us begin. Now let's dive into practice. I already have a detailed prompt prepared for ChatGPT, which will help us create our weekly Instagram posting schedule. Since it is a bit long, I have it already written to save time. In the comments, I will leave you a link to our blog so you can copy and paste the prompt. You will have to change only the personal data. Let's analyze the prompt. The first part is the context. Here I explain who I am and what my activity is. This is the part that you have to change with your personal data. Let's read it. We are a small craft business that makes and sells craft products and print-on-demand products in an online store. We also have a YouTube channel where we publish tutorial videos about crafts and artificial intelligence tools useful in the world of crafts and art. We also have a blog where we write articles expanding the information from YouTube videos and discussing other topics always related to the world of crafts, art, and the use of artificial intelligence tools. Next, we are going to tell you the task you have to do. I want you to make me a weekly calendar in table form for Instagram posts. Once we have told you the task we want you to do, we are going to specify the objectives and strategy. To do this, we are going to tell it how we want it to act and what the country or region of our specific audience is. To do this, you will act as an expert in social media strategies, helping me develop a comprehensive plan that addresses the business objectives and identifies our target audience. Likewise, I want you to work side by side with two other experts a professional graphic designer to achieve an attractive home feed using the different types of publications possible on Instagram, and an SEO and social media analytics specialist to help you in knowing the best publication times, taking into account that my target audience is in Spain, as well as optimizing publications so that they are more visible. I want you to consult with them about any questions that may arise regarding these two disciplines. Next, we are going to specify how we want the table, Remember that you have to give me the information in table format and that my target audience is in Spain. The table will have four columns. The first column will be the days of the week. The second column will be the type of post, story, post, or reel. The third column will be the post time and the fourth column will be the suggested content. And finally, we are going to give you some final considerations, which you can also change to adapt to your needs. I need you to do a good job. My company is fairly new and we follow the rule that if they don't know you, you don't exist. So give me all the publications that are necessary to publicize my company, but without being too invasive. Once we have sent the prompt, ChatGPT will give us an immediate and detailed response. Let's analyze the answer. First of all, he gives us a small explanation of the factors that he took into account when making the calendar. To develop a weekly Instagram posting schedule for your craft business, it is essential to consider the nature of your business, 
your target audience in Spain, and best practices on Instagram. We will consider a mix of stories, posts, and reels, tailored to your content and audience. We will also take into account the best times to post in Spain, based on the idea that engagement tends to be higher at certain times of the day. Below he gives us an example of a weekly calendar. As we had requested, the calendar is in table format and has four columns. Day of the week. Type of publication. Time of publication and suggested content. For example, on Monday we offer a post at 1 p.m. about new artisanal products. On Tuesday a reel at 6 p.m. showing a quick craft tutorial. And so on until the week is complete. The next thing that ChatGPT is going to give us is a justification for each of the calendar entries. Let's see their reasons. Monday. Start the week by introducing new products to capture the audience's interest from early on. Tuesday. Reels in the evening are well received and a tutorial can generate great engagement. Wednesday, mid-morning stories allow showing the daily work in an intimate and personal way. Thursday, an afternoon post the use of AI and art link to your YouTube channel and blog, generating cross-traffic. Friday, reels at the end of the week can be lighter and more entertaining, perfect for showcasing products. Saturday, interactive stories over the weekend maintain engagement in a relaxed tone. Sunday, a mid-afternoon post to summarize the week helps to consolidate presence and show the human side of the company. As you can see, it has taken into account different factors to generate traffic to our Instagram account, and maintain interaction with the audience, and link our account with our YouTube channel and the blog. Finally, he gives us a series of tips that we must always keep in mind so that our Instagram shines with its own light. Remember that this calendar is a starting point. Constant monitoring and adjustment based on Instagram analytics will allow you to better fine-tune your posts to maximize impact. Also, don't hesitate to experiment with different formats and times to see what resonates best with your audience. As you can see, ChatGPT has not only given us an answer adapted to what we had asked, but has also given us a series of explanations and advice so that we can better understand the world of social networks. Once we have our calendar, we can ask ChatGPT to make some modifications to it. For example, we can ask you to make more posts with Reels, or to focus more on YouTube videos, or to give us more posts. Now I'm going to ask you to make me a new calendar, with two daily posts and that one of those posts be a story. We write the new prompt. Thank you for your response, but I would like to make two posts a day. Can you make me a new calendar with two daily posts and have one of the daily posts be a story? As always, the response is immediate and precise. Of course, I will adjust the calendar to include two daily posts on Instagram, ensuring that one of them is always a story. This approach allows for greater visibility and engagement, maintaining a constant presence on the platform. And as you see, he has given us a new calendar with two daily posts and one of these posts is a story. One of the things I like most about ChatGPT is this series of instructions and advice that it always gives you and that help us learn more about the world of social networks. Those of us who dedicate ourselves to crafts or art know that time is never enough. Finding time to learn new disciplines that, although very important, are not directly related to our work, is not always possible. Having a tool that in five minutes is capable of giving us an overview of what considerations we must take into account when making posts on Instagram or any other social network seems incredible to me. So I advise you to put ChatGPT on your work computer and get more time for what you really like. Create. ChatGPT has the ability to remember the context within the same chat. That's why I advise you to save the chat with which you created the calendar so you can ask for more suggestions or resolve any questions that may arise in the future. For example, I can tell you that I have not understood correctly how I have to make the first publication on Friday and that you please explain to me how I should do it. We write the prompt. In the second calendar you made for me, I didn't understand very well how I should make the first post on Friday. Can you give me some clue? As you can see, he knows that it is the 12 o'clock publication and that the topic is a product showcase with livery music. Below it gives us the steps we must follow and explanations on how to follow them. Product selection. 
setting and sonography, video recording, music selection, editing, text and calls to action, hashtags and description. We can also use it to ask for suggestions without having to give you again a context of who we are or what we do. We're going to ask you to suggest five questions to ask a great polymer clay artist for Saturday's collaboration. We write the prompt. For Saturday's collaboration, I want to do an interview with a great polymer clay artist. Can you suggest five questions that might interest my audience? Not only has he given us the questions, but he has also classified them by theme. Inspiration and creativity. Techniques and processes. Challenges and learning. Advice for emerging artists. Trends and future of polymer clay art. As you can see, all the questions are related to our topic on crafts and art. There are no questions about your personal life, fashion, or cooking. It has been limited to questions that may interest our audience. So now let's save our chat so we can use it later. First of all, we are going to give it a name so that it is easy for us to locate. I'm going to put Instagram calendar on it. But if we don't want it to get lost among the dozens of chats we end up having, we can archive it by clicking on the folder icon. To recover the chat, we click on our name. We go to settings and beta. And here we click on archive chats. Once inside, we are going to unfile the conversation. And we have it ready to continue asking everything we need. ChatGPT has a free version, ChatGPT 3.5, and a paid version, ChatGPT 4. At first, unless you made a lot of use of ChatGPT, it wasn't worth doing a monthly payment. The difference was minimal. With the release of multimodal ChatGPT, the topic has changed. ChatGPT 4 has incorporated internet connection, text-to-image generation with DAL E3, and data analysis. It also gives us the possibility of uploading images or text files to analyze them. But what scope does this really have? Is it worth paying to have ChatGPT version 4? My answer is resounding. Yes. I give you just a few examples. Internet connection, with the consequent possibility of having updated data, is essential in some topics, such as in social networks, where trends change quickly. Being able to generate images in the same chat in which you are creating written content can be very useful if you are writing a blog, a book, or a story for children. The possibility of uploading documents and asking ChatGPT to analyze them, summarize them, or translate them makes our need for constant updating of knowledge in the world of crafts and art much simpler. A picture says a thousand words. You can upload photos of your products and ask ChatGPT to create a description for the online store or a copy for Instagram. These are just some examples. We will see others throughout this course on artificial intelligence, but I advise you that if you can afford it, do not hesitate to pay the 20 odd dollars a month for the paid subscription. Today we have reached the end. I hope this demo has been useful to you and helps you create a professional Instagram posting calendar adapted to your needs or those of your company. Don't forget to visit our blog to get the prompt and customize it according to your needs. There you will also find useful information to expand your knowledge about artificial intelligence, crafts, and art. If you liked the video, I ask you to give it a like and leave a comment. It will help me a lot to be able to continue making more videos like this. In the next videos in this series, we will continue exploring the wonders of artificial intelligence in art and crafts. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any episodes. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.